you see this dress, you got it. This fits so good, you flaunt it. How you get so iconic? I see you, babe. Can't wait for later. My favorite flavor. Life to life saver. Mmm, can't get enough of you. Come on and show it to me. a deeply loyal and loving friend. If I could think of anyone to speak to about things that are very honest and real, Sarah is someone to go to. She is someone who is trusting and who is loyal and who is loving um, and who is deeply compassionate. And I'm so grateful to have her and to call her as one of my really close friends. This is where I'm wanted. Home is where the heart is. Home is where the heart is. My uh, relationship with my younger brother, I'm very appreciative to have him in my life and very honored to have him be there for me and to support me. And I'm glad that uh, he's met Sarah. And now they get to um, bounce ideas off each other and have this relationship with each other and have uh, this uh, strong relationship with the one true God. God bless you guys. Thank you much. And uh, thank you for this privilege. Through the ages, man has tried to define love. Poems, songs, and books have all been written trying to describe this little four-letter word. But the best description I have found from, comes from God himself, since he is the author of love. Michael, I believe you are saying to all of us today that you are committing yourself to Sarah only moving toward her in a more open and intimate way, giving yourself to care for her and promising to love her as she needs to be loved. And Sarah, I believe you are saying you are committing yourself to Michael only, moving toward him with increasing openness, tenderness and respect.
Today is the beginning of a new life together for you. It marks the commencement of a new relationship to your families, your friends, and certainly to each other. You have invited these special guests to share in one of life's greatest moments as they give recognition to the worth and beauty of your love and add their best wishes to the words that shall unite you today as husband and wife. And so Michael, if you will love Sarah as Christ loves the church, and Sarah, if you respond to Michael as unto the Lord, your companionship as husband and wife will blossom into a spiritual, emotional, and physical closeness beyond which nothing can compare. Michael and Sarah, <laughs> since you have consented together in holy matrimony, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Michael and Sarah, ladies and gentlemen, come on, we can make more noise for him. Let's go.